hi friends welcome back to the vfx pipeline channel and in this video we will see how we can create new projects inside gitlab okay so the first thing we will start with how to create a new project so first thing when you when you log in you can see this option which is create new project and quickly you can uh, type the name of the project and it will create but if you want to create project in a proper way where you can like in an organized way then i will show you some method here also you can see one tip if you want like you want to house several dependent project in same name space uh, create a group so that's what i want to explain here instead of creating a new project first we will start with create new group so let's just go and hit the group here or maybe just create a group so once you go and click on create a group and here the thing is first thing we will start with for example uh, pipeline tools and pipeline tools will be our group and here uh, all vfx pipeline tools okay and this will be if there will be three levels visibility level first is the private private means whoever is creating only that person will see and the member of that repository will see that if it is internal that means whoever is the user of this gitlab uh, website can view those projects or public means if even if nobody is actually part of the uh, gitlab authentication if they are just anonymous users they can actually come and view the code since you hosting this uh, gitlab within your studio so you no need to worry about that even you make it public it will be fine but the thing is here we will just use internal and i think that is actually a good practice to use that let's just create this group so once you create that group one pipeline tools uh, group will be created and now you can see one option here which is create new project here now we will create one project so in pipeline there are many softwares that we use for example maya nuke or houdini and for each software we create pipeline tools right so now here we will create a new project inside this and we'll start with for example maya so maya project will be a internal project and uh, then it will be part of our pipeline tools let's just go and create this project that's it so once you create that project you will see some of the instructions here we'll go with this later once we will be in the project detail page but now we just go back and see uh, the pipeline tool click on the pipeline tool and now you can see here there is maya here okay now let's just create few more and uh, one more thing once you created this maya uh, there is one thing which, which is very interesting in gitlab is you can go to general uh, select the repository whatever you created go to settings general and once you go to general there is actually you can pick a avatar for your project and that will be very helpful so we just created for maya let's just select and also you can put some description and all but since uh, for pipeline maya is already very descriptive so no need to do that let's just go back to the pipeline tools again and now create a new project and this time we'll create project for houdini so all the houdini related pipeline tools should be in this repository let's just create this project and go back to the settings general and choose the avatar for houdini and let's just save this okay so you already saved that okay now let's just go back to the pipeline tools and uh, create one more and that will be for nuke so all the compositing tools for nuke will be in this project and uh, again go back to settings general and choose file and we have our nuke and that will be save change perfect so now we just make pipeline tools but one thing that you can see that pipeline tool also is showing just p and this all is actually let's say these are the python uh, repository all the python code will be here all the interfaces that we will create using PySide or whatever will be in this then uh, we can just globally uh, highlight this as a python repository so these all are actually our python tool we can just select a new thumbnail for that 
so here you can see so now let's just go back so you can see this pipeline tools overview and uh, in uh, overview you can see that you have uh, maya nuke and houdini there okay don't worry guys what will be inside there and what is this code i will explain you each and everything uh, this time i just want to make a structure here so you guys also clear about what are the things that I, i'm going to do right now okay let's just create few more groups because right now we created stuff within pipeline tools what if we have more than uh, pipeline tool stuff maybe we have some uh, system tools okay so this is our pipeline tool but uh, maybe we have some studio tools okay so let's just go back to the groups again okay and uh, maybe you can see here the plus icon here so here you can come and you can just see that what you want to do you want to create a new group so you can just create new group and guys we are first creating group and inside there we are creating uh, projects so don't get confused in this uh, my way is actually i started with group so let's just create a few more then you will get a clear understanding so studio uh, tools and uh, for that studio tools uh, maybe let's see if we have some icon for studio tools uh, not really right now maybe we can just pick uh, again we can pick sorry let's just let's just leave it like that and just click internal hit ok so s will be there no problem and we can just see new project and new project will be for example windows and this is like inside a studio we have both kind of windows uh, client which is uh, a client machine which is windows based client or linux based client so we need to create tools for both of the operating systems so that's why uh, we just separated this with the windows and uh, linux so for windows if you go select general and choose thumbnail which is windows and uh, hit save changes perfect now windows is appear there now go back and studio tools select there and create new and here we will create new tool which is uh, linux and uh, this will be our internal project and basically you can actually set default i will show you that also how you can actually set project default i'll just go to general choose file and pick linux and save changes so guys we just created few repositories here and in there you can see that we have linux and windows repo we have maya nuke and now you can see that our maya and nuke are actually not not here visible because we just click here studio tools where our other repositories where they gone so for that we can actually go and click on gitlab once we click on gitlab you can see this how organized systematic structure is there you can see here in pipeline tools we have maya in pipeline tools houdini nuke windows and this is our studio tools so now with this structure we can move forward and browse explore all the functionality of this git lab okay so i hope you understand how you can create projects obviously one more te techniques that you can use is you can just go directly and create new project but that will be at this home level let's just create a new project here just to demonstrate you and after that i will delete that so test so there is one test project if you just create without any group then you can create an internal project create and now you go back to the home page it will display like this so this is at administrator so this is a a uh, repository which is under admin or whoever is the user because right now this is the admin account that's why this repo it will be under admin not under any group but even if you go there and this repo is uh, for example very important repo but you can just see the the url will be display root slash test and uh, this one if you go for example houdini then you can go pipeline tools houdini so even urls are also very structured if we go with this kind of uh, method to use grouping so now if you want to uh, remove any project then you can actually come here and go to settings and uh, general and expand and you can actually remove this project basically all you have to do you need to come here in advance and then expand and then remove project and type test and hit confirm so once you do that 
whites okay so that is removed already and now we have our structured projects okay so guys that's it for this video here we just learned how we can create projects group and how we can remove project so in my next video i will show you some other cool functionality of gitlab so guys please subscribe my channel and stay with me thank you guys